Hi, I'm Maya and I'm back with a video to talk about certain products that I have found and I am currently like in love with because it is so damn good. It is a primer. Well, it's not a primer. It's not meant to be a primer, but I use it as a primer because it's better than any other makeup primer on the market and I found that it does the best job for me and yeah, I'm going to talk about it to you today. It may be something that you will be like, because this is a man's wrong way around this is a man's aftershave balm yeah this is the Nivea men sensitive pore shave balm this is like the best primer in the world you would not expect it would yeah you seriously wouldn't this primer contains glycerin and glycerin makes things stick to it so therefore your makeup sits so therefore your makeup sticks to this primer when it is on your skin like industrial strength and it will not budge it will not budge. <laughs> I heard about this product from Nikki Tutorials here on YouTube. She is like an amazing makeup artist and I watch her all the time. And she uses the, oops. And she uses this 24 seven in her videos and it makes her makeup just look flawless, flawless, flawless. Like raves about this and I trust her opinions and I use it for myself and she is 100% correct. I bought this at like my local drugstore and it was two pounds 25 so Oh my god, it is like 15 times cheaper than an actual like seemingly good makeup primer and it's better than them in my opinion. It is cheap. This is like very, very cheap and very, very, very good quality as you get 100ml in this as well and you only get a little bit like 50ml or something or 25ml in primers not too sure but you definitely get less than 100ml way less and for the scent of this product it smells a little bit like man a li just, just a little bit of man but when you apply it to your face the scent is gone and you cannot smell it at all so if you're not into that whole manly smell thing this will still be perfect for you now I'm going to give you a little demo of this amazing amazing product you don't really need that much, you just need a little bit and it looks like pretty funny when you put it on your hands because it's quite liquidy, you only, oh that's a, that's a lot. You only need about that much, it's running down my hands, you only need about that much which isn't a lot so that will last you a long time. Then you just rub it all over your face, it will seem incredibly wet at first. I should really use a hairband. The more you rub it, the more it goes into your skin and the more tacky and hard it is to rub. So what you want is for it to be very tacky and sticky to the touch, because that means that the glycerin is working and then it will be perfect for your makeup to stick to. So it doesn't really take long to rub it until it goes tacky, I'd say like two minutes or something. There we go, now that is very tacky and sticky to the touch and ready for me to be applied onto. So you definitely need to rub it until it's tacky and sticky like this. If you do not and if you put it on wet and let it sink into your skin, it will not work. You need it to be tacky. But whenever I use any other makeup branded primer, on the end of the night, after a full face of makeup, I take my makeup off with some micellar water and there is hardly anything on the makeup pad as my face has just ate all of the makeups. <laughs> and I've noticed that when recently I've been using this and I take my makeup off at the end of the night, there is as much product on the cotton pad as I was put on my face and my face has eaten basically nothing. So this obviously must be pretty, pretty good for your skin if it prevents your skin from like absorbing any of the makeup that you put on your face. And it must be really good for like problematic skin like mine because I've even noticed that it's like, helped my skin I don't know so this is perfect for any skin that you don't know you do not don't so this is perfect for any skin that you don't want to eat your makeup which is basically everyone I'm presuming presume I can't speak presuming there we go this is not a mattifying primer so if you have incredibly oily skin like I do you may have to powder throughout the day as your skin does still get a little bit shiny but you know like when you have oily skin and when you wear makeup it kind of goes like really cakey and separates and like nastiness it doesn't do that it keeps it on it goes a little bit shiny but that's easily fixed by powder but apart from that it stays on your face it doesn't melt or anything it stays there and it's perfect for oily skin and dry skin any type of skin perfect 
So in a nutshell, this is very cheap, industrial strength, keeps your makeup on all day, good for all skin types, very amazing. Basically, it's amazeballs. Hi, this is an unexpected little update that I'm putting in this video. I have my full face of makeup on. It has been on for nearly three hours now, and I've only got powder like once, very lightly, and it looks like I just put it on. Can you see that? So far, my skin hasn't eaten a single bit of it. I can't fault this product, guys. It's just amazing. It's keeping my makeup on amazingly all the time and it's awesome. I hope this video has inspired some of you to go out and buy this incredibly cheap product because it is the one makeup product I would 100% recommend to anyone. Thank you very much for watching, make sure to go down there and click like and then give me a little subscribe and then I will see you in my next video. Bye!